Well, another great instalment of the Billy Moore Shield here uh, live from the Marucci Door Rugby League Club. 70 teams from around the schools on the Sunshine Coast from as far south as Caboolture, north to Noosa have all turned up. Another beautiful weather. It's a fantastic day for Rugby League. Great to see the growth of the game. People talk about the numbers that are participating in Rugby League. Well, the Sunshine Coast is up. Whether it's back to state trend, I'm not sure, but we're flying here on the sunny coast. Uh, the Billy Moore Shield and the, the Jack Reed Shield uh, an advent this year has grown in numbers. 70 different teams, as I said. And what will happen next year, they're going to have to cut it in half because they'll have to split the competition because there's no, <laughs> the grounds aren't, aren't big enough. There's not enough car parks. So that just shows you how the game's growing. Um, the other most surprising feature of today is Carl, and probably the best, I think, is that the majority of kids that play today don't play week in, week out football. So new to the game, lovers of the sport, but normally spectate and just watch it on TV. Well, today they get their first taste of rugby league and by all feedbacks, they love it. They've been excited about the whole week. And uh, that's what you love to see is people that participate in the game. Whether they stay with the game or not, one thing they do get from today is a love for it. And hopefully it's something that becomes a passion for them as they get older and stay with rugby league in any form that, that, that comes, whether it be just as a spectator, a viewer on TV, maybe a referee, but if they come full-time players, that's even better. But it's just great to see rugby league get the exposure on the Sunshine Coast that it deserves. A big thank you must go to the NRL team, the, the development structure on the Sunshine Coast. It's first rate, led by uh, Glenn Dreger and, and Steve Belsham and their army of supporters who uh, volunteer today. It's fantastic. To the Roostall Club itself, again, they've got plenty of volunteers who prepared the fields and manned the canteens. Without grassroots support like that, there is no rugby league. And to all those that are higher up the ladder in rugby league, these are the people you want to support. This is where grassroots money goes. It goes to make these carnivals happen, makes this mass participation possible. And this is where rugby league really gets its kudos. So to all those in the NRL development team, thank you so much for putting on the Billy Moore Shield. All right, we're here at the Billy Moore Shield today with the Mountain Creek team. How's your day been so far, boys? Yeah. Have you won any games yet? Yeah. All of them. All of them. All, of them. All right, a few questions. Yeah. Who's playing in the NRL finals this weekend? One at a time, you got to put your hand up one at a time. Who's playing? Parramatta. Parramatta. Will they win? Yes. No. yes. Broncos. Broncos, will they win? Yes. Very good. Who else has got one? Yeah. Broncos. Broncos. <laughs> that's the same. Does anyone know anyone different? Storm. Melbourne yep. Storm. Melbourne Storm. Who else? Yep. Cronulla Sharks. Cronulla Sharks. All right. Does anybody know Billy Moore Shield? So, Billy Moore. What is Billy Moore famous for? Oh, rugby, oh. rugby Union. Oh. Lee. Lee. Oh, Lee. 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 Yelling Queenslander down the tunnel. Yelling Queenslander down the tunnel. All right, so on three, I want you all to yell out Queenslander. Let's see if you can do it better than Billy Moore. You ready? Even if you're from New South Wales, you've got to yell it. All right, one, two, three. Queenslander! 